Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to create the USB thumb drive so that we can install the latest version of Windows 11 24H2, which is a huge update to any computer, even those that you are getting an error of TPM or the hardware incompatibility issue. We are going to remove that. Now, if you are looking just to update the computer and leave your files as they are, we have covered the video and I will leave a link right over here and also down below on the video description. And if you are wondering what updates does Windows 11 24H2, we have also covered in a video, so link down below as well. Today, we are going to take a look only at how to create a USB pen drive so that we can do a fresh install. If we look at my screen right over here, I'm running Windows 11 Pro 24H2 on my laptop, also on my desktop for a few weeks and having a great experience. So if you want to test that out, besides the videos that I just mentioned, there was also other video where I did share how we can do so if your computer is compatible, of course, with the hardware, just by going to the Windows inside the program. And that is it. But if it's not compatible, then let's go with the other way. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. So now let's go to our web browser and let's go to UUP Dump, which is a awesome website with some awesome tools and a huge thumbs up for the development team. And you can explore all this. I'm just going to cover this right over here. If you did check out the last video where we did upgrade a incompatible computer with this method, then you already know it. But now we are going to create the USB pen drive. So let's press here on 24H2 and we are going to see all the builds right over here. Now, having in mind that we are not going to download anything, in a few moments it's going to download from Microsoft servers, so everything will be Great. Now, in terms of the builds, you can choose any of these, but I'm going to select the latest one, which is this one right over here. And this one is a cumulative update, so we don't want that. We want the full installation. So let's press right over here, and then we can select the language. I can select, for example, Portuguese Portugal, which is my language, or Brazil from my fellow <laughs> Brazilian friends. But I'm going to leave as English from United States. I'm going to press Next. By the way, if you speak any other language and you're not very friendly to English, you probably are not seeing this video. But you can also change the website language right over here, which I find it really, really cool. Now, one of the cool things is that I can select, if I want, just Windows Pro, or I can select Windows Home and Windows Home and Windows Pro, and this is great. The flexibility is just awesome. So let's deselect this one and this one. Let's leave it as default. Let's press Next. And now I can just press Next, but one of the things that you might want to explore now or in the future is this option here, which is Download Add additional editions. So if I select it, it will show me uh, the additional editions that I can select. So if I want to select all of them, I can leave them. Or if I uh, deselect and let's say that I want the Windows Enterprise Edition, I can leave it as it is and it will select that one for me. But in this particular case, I don't want any of these. So I'm just going to select Download and Convert to ISO. Now we have some other options right over here. We can run Component Cleanup. We can also integrate Net Framework 3.5 and we can use Solid, which is a compression to make the file smaller, which I'm going to select. And now uh, we have a summary right over here of what we are getting and having in mind that we need Windows is required to create the ISO image, but that is okay. I'm working on a Windows computer. By the way, the computer that I'm using is an N1, which is really cool. It has two displays and is helping me to create these 
tutorial so if you are looking for a budget laptop i will leave the link down below so i can use right over here with obs and then show my screen to you but having that in mind let's press the create download package so it will download instantaneous as you could see and i already downloaded a few times so here is the historic and let me minimize this we will need another tool which is rufus but we will get into that in just a moment now on my download folder i've got the uh, download loaded file which we just selected the package if i can say so but i would suggest to put this on your c drive i've got right over here if i open my c drive i've got it right over here but this one is a used one which i will share with you in just a few moments so for now i'm going to use this on my downloads folder but i would suggest on the c drive so what we will need to do after putting on the c or on downloads we will just need to extract all press extract and uh, all the files will get into this folder it will automatically open but if it doesn't just double click and it will open now from all these we just need to select the uup download windows i'm going to right click and run as administrator now select more info run anyway and then select yes on this screen that it doesn't show and there we go we just need now to press r and press enter r is for run once press enter and it will start doing its magic and if you have watched the latest video that we have done about updating the computer not a fresh install just updating we did run this part right over here so you have seen how awesome it is now it will take a while i would say about 30 to 40 minutes it will depend on your internet connection and the computer that you have but i would suggest to go for a walk or something like that and then in 30 minutes get back and once it finishes it will show this message right over here which is finished to press zero or q to quit and you have all the log everything that it did the download where from and all the ads and apps and so on and so forth so everything is right over here which is really really cool now if we go to the c drive which is where i have because the file that i used on my downloads i didn't actually finish i finished this one right over here on the c drive so if i open it up what i will find is a lot of files but we just need one which is this image right over here this iso image and right over here it has a weird name with the build and so on and so forth but we can rename this and we can place it anywhere that we want more friendly than this folder because the this process or this part of the process is finished we have the image created as we want it and now let's create the usb pen drive that we can install on any computer now for that i'm going to minimize this i'm going to my web browser and I'm going to write Rufus and just go to the official website. And right over here, I did download the portable version, but you can install on your computer if you prefer. And once we download, I've got it right on my downloads folder. And I do have the folders that we downloaded as well previously. But let's open Rufus and ignore that one. And it will ask me if I want to update. Yes, I will select. Yes, I don't need the download folder anymore. So properties right over here. I can put this one right over here. And what we will need to do right now is install our or insert our USB pen drive on the computer, which I already did. It did recognize and it has the name that we are going to create because I already created a video in Portuguese. Now, the things that we will need to change is um, actually nothing particular. This one right over here, we will leave it as it is. Right over here, we will select the image. And my image is on C drive and then inside the build package folder and open it up and select the image ISO. Just press open. It will read and put in the image and then in terms of options everything is okay we can change the name right over here if i want to change to something more friendly i can do so but i'm going to leave it as it is and then i'm going to press start now once we press start and let me minimize this we will have a few options here now the first one is mandatory the others are not but i would suggest leaving these two as they are and there is one more advisable to do which is disable bitlocker automatic device encryption i would suggest this so that you don't to run out of problems 
And right over here, it's optional. You can create a local account with the username that you choose, or you can leave it blank. Set regional options, disable data collection, skip privacy questions. You can opt to put all these, or you can leave them as they are. Now, in this particular case, I believe that this is more than fine. Let's press OK. It will ask me once, and it will... Yeah, I thought, I thought it would ask me again, but not only once if i'm ready to delete everything on my usb pen drive which i am now this is a process that will take about five to ten minutes i would say so just grab a glass of water right over here youtube magic And that is it. Once we finish up, we have the USB pen drive created with a Windows 11 24H2 version so that we can install on any computer, even those computers that say that the hardware is not compatible with the latest version of Windows 11. That being said, hope that the video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.